everybody, Fusion here with another video. Now, first thing I wanted to get off with is that I'm really sorry about the lack of uploads and the lack of my uh, custom season uploads as well. But anyways, let's just get just right into this uh, review right now. Now, as you can see, I am reviewing the Piranha Attack from the Lego Ninjaga movie Wave 2. Um, That's supposed to come out next year, but pretty sure uh, a lot of you guys already have these kind of sets. This goes to ages 7 to 14, has 217 pieces, has 4 minifigures, has Kai, Lady Iron Dragon, um, Shark Army Thug, of course, and also Ray right there. No, it's not supposed to be the Ray from the original Ninjago kind of uh, thing. Now here is the back of the box where you get all these amazing kind of features right here. And now let's just get right into the Now set. here is the set itself. Now the first thing we are actually going to get a look up is uh, the minifigures. Now the first minifigure first. we're actually going to take a look at is Ray. Now he actually really has a really nice torso and a uh, pants detailing as well. I really do like it. Now I'm going to take off the um, hat as we actually did get in the previous kind of sets as you can see it. But I think uh, this is my second time getting this in a different color to be honest with you. Now here we have is a good look at the face as you can see. I really do like the face printing. It really has a really good expression especially like for this kind of minifigure and how it's supposed to be. I'm pretty sure my dog likes it too. And here we have is just the back and there's no like detailing in the back of course. No, no character even has that. And we do have torso printing and on the bottom of the legs we do have like shoe printing as well as you can see. And then he does have the, the um hand kind of arms as you can see and then really no detailing on any Next side we have is Kai now this is actually one reason I really wanted uh, this set because we did get I did get an, another Kai and his hair piece too honestly and now of course this Kai is really nothing uh, big to be honest with you he does come with his armor piece um these two swords as you can see um, two of them the silver and then the ninja um so as you can see right there the pants as you can see uh, again, he does come with his hair piece right there. This is like at his um, face. He does come with a double-sided face, as you can see. Taking off the face and the armor, you can see the back detailing of his. Now the next suit. character we do have is the Lady Iron Dragon. Now, to be honest, I was honestly really excited that we did actually get this minifigure in a Lego kind of set. Now this set does come with with the. Uh, um, I don't know what that set is called, but Cole's Mech. And um, I really do like this minifigure, to be honest. There's only one flaw that I actually do have. is just the face printing. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that doesn't really like that. Just a good doesn't really like that. But of course, he came with a good a statement saying that with uh, black hair head pieces, as you can see. And uh, doing another print on that head, head piece is going to make the color fade. Now, he, she does come with this nice um, hair piece, as you can see, molded onto the... A helmet that she does have. It's a really uh, nice, uh, pretty design to be honest with you. I really do like that. Now she does come with an arrow as you can see just like Zane. Then she does have um, this uh, armor piece with all the arrows that she does have. I think it's called a quiver. I don't really believe that's really what it's called. But yeah, um, she does have really nice uh, torso detailing as you can see. Then have this uh, like uh, Something that Nia has, but in a different kind of style, different kind of printing, as you can see. Now I'm going to take off her, her face so you guys can see the back detailing right there. Um, it's really nothing much, but I actually really do like that she does have back. Now the last minifigure we do have is the Shark Army Thug right here. Now this isn't really um, too big of a minifigure, to be honest with you. We have gotten him in other kind of sets. I think the only difference is that uh, this hat piece or whatever bandit hat whatever it's, uh, it's called you can see this guy have an eye patch on on the left right side of his eye sorry about that now he does have that torso printing and leg printing as well and then he does have back printing as you can see no sleeves on his um arms at all and no detailing on his arms at all as you can see no double side now facing. the first thing that we are actually going to start off with with the set is just a chariot kind of thing as you can see now this is actually a really good build i really do like it I really do do you like that they have the style of the uh, Asian or Chinese kind of um, tradition kind of thing. Now, as you can see, we do have lanterns right here on both sides right there. And then you do have uh, these two uh, 
car car hood pieces right there and it actually brings a really nice touch to it and it has stickers as well as you can see that um sticker right there as you can see um nothing on the bottom to be honest with you now you could actually um sit somebody down right there i will show you guys in a minute now he it does come with these uh two big uh wheel barrel no wait wheels right here um and they actually do spin very very nice very nice right there. Now it does come with like the stairs kind of thing right there. So I really do like how they got that. Now I'll show you what I meant about somebody sitting right there. And of course the thug's not going to sit on there. But I'm just going to put him that he is. And you could have Ray coming right here. Screaming in terror. Uh, carrying this thug right there. As you can see. Now the last thing we actually do have for the set itself is this, per is this really cool build of a piranha as you can see right there. I really do love this build to be honest with you. I think one of my greatest builds for the Lego Ninjago movie kind of wave to be honest with you. It was an easy and really not that hard of a build to be honest with you. I really do like, like how they kind of make it look like a piranha but I, of course I really haven't seen the piranha before. Um, I think I've seen it up on Nemo or something like that. I really do like it. Um, you do get these missiles right here where you could adjust them up and down as you can see. Now they are fire flick missiles so you could like... Not that. Oh my gosh. Okay, you could do it somehow. It's not going to want to work. Like that. I don't know if you guys actually seen it. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do it again. Or else it's just going to fall. You do get this, uh, light piece right here, as you can see. I really do like that. I'm pretty sure piranhas even have that. Um, so that's where they have it. I like how they have these eyes kind of thing resembling, um, of the eyes of the piranha. The eyes build, of course, like that. Now this, uh... I don't really know what that thing is up is probably for the uh, nose now you have this opening for the mouth as you can see I really do love that build to be honest with you. I really do like how they have that now This is a printed piece right here. Not a stickered piece um, This is stickered 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 um, and I think that's it for the stickers that you actually do get. The feet is actually really good. Um, it stays good on its own, to be honest with you, just in any kind of way. I really do like that. Um, it just goes like that, to be honest with you. It doesn't go up and down. I don't think so. So, yeah. Um, I really do like this build. Really nice build, to be honest, honest with you. Like I said, one of my favorites from the Lego Ninjago movie wave. And um, let's just get to the ratings and look at the manual. Now, the instructions for this um, set is actually pretty good. Um, it's just like a little book kind of thing it has every single thing as you can see right there now it does have um, the piece count in the back and then this advertisement for this Lloyd Spin Jitsu Master Spinner and then all of the other kind of sets for this uh, Wave 2 right there and then you just have the Lego Life app right there as you can see with Kai and then you just have the set of course and then you just have Lloyd in the background right there and I dropped Kai and our ratings for this set, I think, will have to be um, a 10 out of 10. My mind is saying 9.5 out of 10. I don't really know why my mind is saying that, but why I give it a 10 out of 10 is because the price is actually really, really great. It's uh, The price is $20 for four, four minifigures and these two kind of things. Just honestly the same thing with the Ninjago case set right there. And that was retail for 20 dollars honestly now this thing is actually really cool um a lot of people honestly get this set because of the lady iron dragon as you can see right there now um that's kind of one reason why i did get this set the other reason why is because of kai and then this just this awesome build in general and who would not pay that much money for a really great set that's only twenty dollars to be honest with you now that's why i give it a 10 out of 10 now hope you guys like this video like and subscribe for more stop motions like reviews or if you guys have anything you want me to do just put it down in the comments below I'll be sure to do it for you guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye!